This video reviews two key principles involving brackets. Now the first one asks us to simplify an expression all, in this case, to a power of 3. Now then, what I do here is I write the y as a power of 1. And what I must now do is, is cube all the terms in the bracket. Now 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Now then, yx to the power of 4 cubed, we just times together the two powers. So x to the power of 4 all cubed is 4 times 3 is 12, is x to the power of 12. That's one of the key indice rules. x n to the power of m is x to the power of n times by m. In a similar way, y to the power of 1 all cubed, 1 times 3 is 3, so this becomes y cubed. So the answer is 8, x to the power of 12, y to the power of 3. Now part 2 brings out really, really important skill in factorising. Now, first of all, we observe that there's a factor of 2 in both parts of this expression. So I can write 2 open bracket x squared minus 16 y squared. Now then, this can be factorised further because it's of the form of the difference of two squares. So, there's the two. I can write this as a pair of double brackets. Now, x squared, I need an x and an x. To get a 16y squared will be a 4y and a 4y. But to make it negative will be a plus 4y and a minus 4y. And just to prove why this is the case, x times x is x squared. 4y times 4y is 16y squared and it's negative. But if we look at these two terms here, this gives me a 4yx, this gives me a negative 4yx. These cancel out, and so you're left with the term above. So again, the answer, I tell again neatly, is 2x plus 4y, x minus 4y.